Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Paris vlog. I am here with my mom. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> she is here with me uh, just helping me film some content this week. We've actually already been here for a couple of days filming some things throughout the city but it is the weekend and we're gonna be having some fun for the next couple of days and we're gonna be taking you guys along with us for the ride. On the schedule for today we're gonna be heading to the Hermes Sevres boutique here on the left bank. I've never been to this Hermes boutique but I heard it's really really beautiful so hopefully they'll let me film in the store and hopefully there won't be a long line. There's the Diptyque flagship store. And then later this afternoon, we're going to be going to a perfume making class. So we're going to become fragrance experts and bottling and mixing up our own perfumes. Hopefully that'll be fun. We have some other things planned for later this weekend. So come along with us if you want to see what we're up to. And before we leave, let me show you guys what we are wearing today. Okay, so here's my outfit for today. And sorry guys for the lighting. This hotel room is super, super dark, really good for like napping and sleeping but not super great for mm. filming but I think you get the gist of it. I am wearing these leather trousers from Frame. Very very comfortable. These have been some of my most worn pants like for the past couple of weeks and then this sweater I got in a little town in France like years ago. I know you guys always ask me where it's from and then I have these Hermes shoes which need to be cleaned a little bit but I've been wearing these the whole trip. They're just a pair of like chunky loafers, chunky brogues and then my bag for today is this one right here. This is the Celine Nano luggage tote. I've had this for many, many years. I got this in Paris years ago, and this is in the beautiful bright cherry red. And then because I know you guys will ask, this lipstick is one of the Prada lipsticks, and I think it's in the color Granato, if I'm not mistaken. Really good for like a soft red blurred lip. Okay, and then my mom wants to show you guys her outfit as well, so tell them what you're wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater you bought me, and it just matches everything. And then the pants are, they're actually like hiking pants. They're quite water resistant. They have, especially this front part is real durable and it's by this brand that's unpronounceable to me. Yes, we'll put the name of the uh, brand up on the screen because I also don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this one that has the little Arctic yeah. box. It's like uh, waterproof suede with fur lined um, sneakers. What brand are those? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Okay, we'll look it up. Those are really cute. They look super warm. Yeah, and extremely comfortable. And then uh, we wanted to show you guys, my mom, we went vintage shopping. We went to a bunch of shops so look out for that vintage shopping vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribed. But um, my mom found this really cute uh, vintage Burberry coat yesterday in one of the shops. And this is like her color, this kind of taupey green. green. Yeah, so we saw it and Burp we were... Colors, yeah. yeah, we saw it and instantly we were it's like, super ooh. super soft. It fits me very well. It was only like 250 euro, something mm -hmm. like that. Incredible designer coats in great condition. Yeah, we'll put the name of the vintage store, guys, where she found this in the description box below and like I said look out for that other video because we're going to take you to a bunch of different vintage shops actually. So that is what we are wearing today and we're going to hit the road.
chilly morning walk, we made it to the Hermes Sevres Boutique. I've never been to this one before, and wow, I heard that this boutique was beautiful, but I was not prepared. I think this might be the most beautiful boutique in Paris, or at least maybe one of the most unique. This building was once the Lutetia Public Swimming Pool, which is now declared a national monument. The store celebrates its history while also incorporating traditional Hermes house codes. I was mesmerized by the beautiful tiling, the painted murals, and historic pillars around what was once the swimming pool. When we first entered, we admired the Petite Arch installation, a collection of gifts and creations manufactured from Hermes dead stock materials like silks and leathers. My favorite were the bag charms, especially this adorable little squid. So cute! But I wasn't here to look at the bag charms, I was here to shop for scarves. I love wearing and collecting Hermes scarves, and for me, it's a precious souvenir, albeit an expensive one, to remember the trip that I will have for years to come. Here you can see some of the colorful designs of the season. I always immediately ask if they have something with cats, which of course they did, they usually do. And I adored these little twillies with the sweet little ice cream motifs. Next, we made our way down the beautiful staircase to the lower level that featured shoes, ready to wear, homewares, and more. We were admiring the beautiful saddles and also the cute little dog accessories. My mom is getting a puppy next month, so we joked about buying the undoubtedly expensive Hermes dog shampoo. I didn't buy any of the shoes, but man, I was tempted. I particularly loved a lot of these loafer styles with the chunky soles, the lock hardware, and even shearling versions. And then of course the last stop was the makeup counter. Oh yes, they had all the new eyeliner shades, so of course I had to pick up an item or two. Next, we headed over to Diptyque. I've always wanted to go to their original store on 34 Boulevard Saint Germain, and I was so excited to see the beautiful and cute Christmas decorations and candles. It's a small but beautiful boutique with kind of like an antique vintage feel. We found out that earlier this year they did build a bigger and more flashy flagship store, but I really liked the charm of this original location. It's really too bad that they don't sell the holiday decorations themselves because we would have totally snapped up all of the adorable little felt ornaments that you see here in the vlog. So I guess we just had to settle for sampling the exquisite fragrances and candles instead.
And at this point, we were starving. After all, when in Paris, shopping is our cardio. So we hopped in a cab and headed over to one of my favorite lunch spots, Maria by Caesar. This is my third year in a row coming to this spot. I love the Tartufo pizza, the friendly man who runs the place, and of course, the amazing people watching. I convinced my mom to get her own pizza she wanted to share, I did not. And once she tasted it, I think she was happy with that decision. We had a little bit of time before our fragrance experience, so we wandered over to a chocolate shop down the street for some hot chocolate. This stuff was legit, guys. It was like molten chocolate that you sweetened yourself with some sugar, which I like because I don't like it too, too sweet. Oh, it was so chocolatey. And of course, I paid the extra euro for the Chantilly cream on top, and I wouldn't have it any other way. friends we are back at our hotel we're just resting for a little bit before dinner we have dinner in like an hour or so and we're gonna head over there soon but we wanted to give you a little debrief about the fragrance experience and then we're also going to show you guys what we got at diptyque so we'll do a little like you know haul or unboxing whatever you want to call it so the fragrance experience was so so fun i can't say that i necessarily learned a lot about fragrance, but the actual activity, like the workshop, was so much fun. Um, so the fragrance house that hosted it, it is called Moulinard. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that okay. I wasn't familiar with this fragrance house. Apparently it's really famous, but highly recommend. They have a beautiful, like, cave in the basement of the boutique, and they do a whole little workshop. And the way that it works is that they have, have like... About, uh, probably about 70, 80... You know, possibly a hundred different um, essences. Yeah, all different classified scents. as base notes, um, heart top notes. notes, and heart notes. Yeah, so for example, like vanilla or bergamot, rose, jasmine, leather, coffee, all kinds like of things. Yeah. every single kind of scent you can think of, they had there. And then basically, what they told us to do is to just start with the top, then go middle and base, and just smell them or the ones that you think you would like, and then just without kind of overthinking it, just choose the ones that like speak to you. And generally they say to pick around like four to five for each one, except we were picking like eight for each one. We couldn't decide. We were the only Americans also in this uh, workshop. Everybody else spoke French and I feel like all of them were like really good at choosing what they liked. We didn't know. We liked we were... a lot. We liked everything. I was like, yeah, that smells good. That smells good. They have you choose the notes that kind of speak to you. And then the woman that leads the workshop, she comes over and she kind of looks at what you have and she sort of helps you group some of them together. She organizes, this is fruity, this is sweet, yeah. this is woodsy. Um, and 
then you can decide if maybe you can eliminate a few and then she puts them all together because they're on the papers you've dipped into the oil essences. Yeah. And you dip a, little paper into each essence that you like. I mean, you take the whole pack of those papers and she flutters them under your nose <laughs> so that you can see what the full fragrance full would fragrances smell, smell like. Of all of those put together. And then you can say, oh, it's too sweet. And she'll eliminate something using yeah. her expertise, which is interesting. Yeah. Like when I first smelled my notes, it smelled too sweet to me. There wasn't enough balance I felt like there needed to be something more on the base so I added leather I added some other sort of like woodsy Wood accord sage. yeah I added something woodsy and it like completely kind of changed and balanced the whole fragrance it was pretty amazing how just she would remove one thing because I said, oh, it's too sweet. And it would completely change the way I felt about the fragrance. It was really fun. Um, so we're going to read out to you guys. We're going to describe our fragrances that we made. You want to go first? Yeah, I was really happy with how mine turned out. I have for my base notes, oak moss and woody base. It's actually called woody base. And then for the um, heart is almond and it's called rice and actually it does smell a lot like if you steam rice in a steamer that wonderful scent you get when you take the lid off like a starchy sweet yeah. smell and for the top notes raisin and honeysuckle um so i like that it's woodsy but it's light, light like it's balanced. a little it's a yeah. little bit sweeter and more feminine it smells really good our fragrances have to macerate here's what it looks like when you take it home. It has to macerate for a week, but you can kind of get a sense for what it smells like. I couldn't really narrow my notes down, so mine has a lot in it. So the base is uh, cedar, oak moss, amber, leather, and sugared almond. The sugared almond just smelled really yummy, so I added that in there to balance everything out. So it is a very woodsy base. And then the middle notes are lavender, rice, once again, rose, tiari flower. Don't know what that is, but that smelled bomb jasmine so a lot of like uh like a floral heart which is typically what i like and then uh, at the top more of a citrusy component so we have bergamot neroli and then once again almond so mine has a little bit of citrus at the top but it's mostly like a woodsy floral and i actually really like the way that it's smelling i put it here I quite like it. I'm interested to see what it ends up smelling like, but it was really fun. Check it out if you're coming to Paris. And now we will show you guys what we got from Dip Tea. So the main thing I wanted to get was I, I always like to have diffusers in my home because I just love coming in the house and smelling something nice. And at this time of the year, I really love the smell of pine. Mm. If it's a good quality pine based diffuser, because I really find that if it's not to sound stuck up or something, but a lot of the less expensive ones, they really smell fake. And I, yeah. I don't like that. I grew up and still have the real Christmas tree in the house. So I know what real pine smells like. So they had um, three different scents for their holiday collection. They have one that is like a, almost like a gingerbread and the candle form of it is red. I have that they one have, at have home, one yeah. that's white, which it's kind of hard to describe, but it's very pleasant. It's um, more fresh. Yeah. Like, yeah snow like it's supposed to i guess it's supposed to um Evo. you know make you think of like a nice uh wintry wonderland fresh snow smell when you go outside and i got the one that is the it comes in this you know show very, them the packaging very pretty box i mean like how how cute is that packaging yeah. the little gingerbread men and the little stars and the little make trees a, a so great, cute yeah. so here's the uh here's what it looks like it's it's a beautiful bottle and it's a large amount. Yeah, it's and a lot. Of course, you know you have a number of the sticks. It's a I think a really high quality, wonderful pine base scent. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to last a very long time. I actually got a home scent as well, and I got the Paris candle. So mm -hmm. they have these candles for different cities all around the world. You might be able to get it online, but apparently in the stores, in the boutiques, you can only get the Paris candle in Paris, you know, the Tokyo candle in Tokyo. I don't know. There's like a whole bunch of other cities, but I decided to get the Paris one as like a little souvenir. And then once I use it up, I can put like my makeup brushes or something in it or a little potted plant. It's a very, um, I thought it was kind of like a light sense. He, he said there was some lavender in there. It smelled really it, it good. Smelled it's like sophistication. Yeah, it's just like a nice sophisticated scent. Typical. A good thing to have to represent Paris. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we actually each got this fragrance right yeah. here, which I've talked about on... Talked about it at some point 
maybe on my Instagram. At some point I've mentioned this, but this is called Le Papier, Papier. So this is an eau de toilette and it has a really beautiful light everyday scent. This actually also has like the steamed rice accord. <laughs> I guess we're like, day. yeah, I guess we're really into this like steamed rice accord, <laughs> but it has that and it, it's very hard to describe. Like it, it's a very light everyday yeah. scent. My guess is it's something that a lot of people will find pleasant and approachable. I think this is something that like, if I still worked in an office, I would wear this at work. It almost smells like skin. It doesn't really smell like you're wearing That's a good way to perfume. It. Yeah. it just smells like you naturally smell good. I'll have to put the notes or something up on the screen. I'll link to all these um, down below in case you guys wanna like check them out and read the notes for yourself. Yeah, those are the little goodies that we got at Diptyque. I did get a couple goodies at Hermes, but you guys will have to stay tuned for an unboxing video where I'll show you everything that I got on this trip. Um, we also got this other little goodie here from our hotel. Every single evening we come back from our uh, activities and there's like some present left for us that we <laughs> didn't pay for. We're like, did we pay for this? Cause we, we weren't supposed to. Like the first night they left us a mini bottle of champagne. The second night we came back and there's like a fruit basket, like a fruit tray. And then today we came back and we got this and it's full of i was actually excited this is the one i was the most excited about all these little Le labo cosmetics so there's like conditioner shampoo body lotion shower lotion and there's also this little soap apparently they have a spa here but we've never been to it because we're always doing we're always like out and about i guess that they maybe use Le labo products at the spa and then this is the hotel I'll link it down below. This is the third time that I've been to this hotel. It's in a really, really good location on the left bank. It's maybe a block away from Pont Neuf, so like right by the river. If you're here and you have to get a lot done, you have a lot you wanna fit into your itinerary, it's great because it's just so central. We are able to mm. easily walk to so many things. But <laughs> yeah, we also got this today. <laughs> I will also say that it's been fun. Um, I've been so happy that all of the People that work in the stores have been so so nice, so fun and nice and helpful. It's been a it's been a good experience. But yeah, so that's been our day today. We're gonna head over to dinner now, and we will catch you guys soon. Bye. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful day in Paris. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you wanna see part two and the rest of our amazing weekend. Next time, we'll be visiting the beautiful streets of Montmartre, tea time at Hotel Plaza Athene, and stepping into the amazing Louis Vuitton Dream Exhibit and Cafe. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.